little run, got dropped off by Allison. Fish him in Sami. Nice little bump. Got the 14 I went on today with the 45 skinny. So I'm looking forward to the extra glide of the boat coil. Front and back. You can already feel the difference between this and Spitfire. If you're learning to downwind, and struggling, the 1401 truly is a great foil. Like maybe you need to mask the paddle up first. Um, before you can really make the most of it. Which obviously you need to be on foil. But if you're able to get up, the 1401 makes linking much easier than any other foils out there. change my riding position to having my front foil more centered, front foot sorry, more centered over the front foil, where my pitch control is now coming from my back foot, which is completely different to how I started. Yeah, I was able to pump through that. I pump down the line, follow a bump, Use it till it's completion. And when there's nothing else, turn back down the line and then wait for the next one. It's as simple as that. There's more tricks than that, but to start, if you don't know what to do, run down the line till you catch something. You know, it's kind of going with the wind. Connect into something, get a surf. Hopefully you can then link that to another good surfable spot. But if not, just keep pumping and then you'll eventually come across something. Don't turn down wind. You don't want to be running through the swells. If you run through the swells, you're going to have to just keep pumping. And the negative energy of the running uphill is completely taken out of you. At least when you run down the line, you're still getting some assistance of water running across that foil for energy. And hopefully you can get to a zone like this just slightly good enough. So you can just link bump to bump. So today it's only 16 knots but it's a cross offshore. So there's only five kilometers of fetch. So it really is like a bay run. Now I'm pumping into the wind, which sucks. I'm going to have to do that actually to get back. But use some glides. This is only a short run, Fisherman's to um, Army. It's about two kilometers, maybe two and a half. Perfect for learning. Oh, this 1401 feels so good. I love the Spitfires, but for small conditions, for me, this 1401 is awesome. I haven't used the 1300 pump and glide for a while, so I'm keen to borrow my friend Matt's one one day and just see see how it goes. It has such a slow stall speed. I'd love to just be riding on that edge of that stall speed again and really testing slow speed linking. I think that's where you will learn heaps. You know, not adding your own energy to the system. So that, all that I've just said and then staying high on the mast. Should keep you nice and powered up. Downhill 
Well, Shane, I've lost them. He's riding a pretty small foil as usual. I made a mistake there, I'm pumping through the swell. I'm trying not to be frantic. Slowing down everything, picking good lines, good technique. trying to incorporate what I know my flat water pump into my riding. So my flat water pump oops, uh, has a different foot stance to my riding pump and I'm trying to connect the two. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out and incorporate my flat water stance into my downwinding and at least in light conditions. I don't need it in big conditions but when I'm having to add so much energy into the run, it'll be better if I have a, like a nice pump stance. Nice little link. Always trying to go downhill. Keep creating a downhill for yourself. Sometimes that means running up one, getting some height and then turning back down. I fumbled that. And if you get some momentum, use it. But don't run into the back of something. Use it to go somewhere important. Or turn it into mast height. Yeah, this setup's fast enough to cut through. Nice. Cutting up winds here. Woo! <laughs> 